Hey folks, this is D Maxwell 817. Um, we're finishing up here. We've got all the nipples put in the cylinder um, on this revolver, cap ball revolver. Um, again, you can see everything's clean, ready to go back together. <clears throat> I've put some oil on this rod right here and on all these moving work mechanisms here, like, like that one got this little one right here that if you watch it comes out that's what rotates the cylinder lube that up so all these working mechanisms put a little oil down in the spring right here I put a drop of oil down there so that'd be lubricated I wipe this rod so that will see how freely that works so I lube that up so that this cylinder will spin freely and easily again you just cock it back just a little bit Pop that in there, lock it down, you're back in business. You can load all six cylinders on this revolver because you've got these little notches in between. You, if you can see in between those cylinders, you've got those little notches. That's designed to rest that hammer. You just pull it up, go between the cylinders, rest that hammer. That way your cap, your number 10 caps, are over here. There's not one underneath the hammer, so you cannot hit or drop it and, knock it, and make it fire. If you rested it on top of one of those cylinders and you bump it, it could go off. So you want to rest it in between on those notches right there. That way it can't, that's a safety mechanism. If you want to spin it freely, just one cock back. And you see how much that, that oil, see that oil? Hear that? That's what the oil does. That helps it spin, spin freely and cock properly. So again, this is D-Maxwell 817. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. And again, this is part three. So there's one, two, and three parts on this video. Be sure to watch them. Hope that helps you uh, cleaning any of your muzzle loader firearms or cap and ball revolvers. Again, this can be used. This method can be used on any modern firearm um, and also any antique or curio. Again, just follow the directions as I described. And good luck out there. And, Again, these guns are really fun to shoot. They're cheap. You can make your own ammo, your own powder. Um, they're just a real inexpensive way to go out there and shoot these days. And it's a whole lot cheaper shooting this than it is shooting modern firearms. And a whole lot easier getting the ammo because I make it myself. Again, you folks have a good day. This is D Maxwell 817 signing out.